But obviously you found out some way. I need more. Hit me up. I need to know what happened. Mo being messy. I need to know. Because <laughs> that's a lot. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And y'all already know it's Tell It to Mo Tuesday. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mo the Goat on Instagram. Everybody call me Mo. Mo to go, whatever you want to call me. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family, welcome to the squad, welcome to the mafia. As y'all know, it's lit on this channel. And today is Tell It to Mo Tuesday. If you don't know what Tell It to Mo Tuesday is and you are new, Tell It to Mo Tuesday is when you send me like a one minute video asking me a question. Um, it could be advice about anything. You feel me? Whether it's about relationships, friendships, family, it don't matter. Should I buy a cat? It really doesn't matter. Right now I got on Mac hoodie. You know what I'm saying? A little Echo drip. I don't really wear Echo, but Mac like Echo and his hoodie was right there and I was cold. So that's why I got it on. But today y'all, I got a few entries we gonna do. We gonna get it popping. I ain't gonna waste no more of y'all time cause y'all probably tired of me talking already. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. I got some bangers coming y'all. Like for real, like this week about to be crazy, okay? <laughs> Period. Make sure if you have not already, you went and you watched my 50K giveaway video and you did the steps to enter because the 50K giveaway is about to be lit. And you wouldn't want to miss out. So first I'm gonna do a couple shout outs right quick before we get into it. I know y'all tired of me talking, but I said I'll do shout outs and I don't want to go back on my wizard. It's a lot of them. Shout out to Serenity Miscreet, Oscar Cineros, and his sister Naomi. Shout out to Queen Mahogany, Kelly Moore, L underscore Boogie Collins. Shout out to Quita Maven. Shout out to s &T Squad. Shout out to my girl Boss Chick. I see you, baby. Shout out to Christine McCoy. And shout out to Tiffany Rabuma Fafita. Tiffany, shout out to Tiffany. Rubima. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Shout out to KB's Collins. Rosanna Smalls. Monique Grant, AKA Red. Shout out to King Tiny. Shout out to Charmaine Anastasia, AKA Mrs. Underscore Conceited on Snap. Shout out to TK Supreme YT. Shout out to Shy the G. A shout out to everybody. If you didn't get a shout out, don't worry. I do. I try to do shout outs every video. I got y'all. Period. All right, let's get into this Tell It To Mo Tuesday, y'all. Y'all ready? Let's go. First video. Hey Mo, what's up? It's Tell It To Mo Tuesday, so I'm coming with this video from Fresno, California. Um. I need some advice on a co-worker whether I should be bringing it up to my supervisor or bringing it up just to her. Um, now, I've been working for this company for about six months now. Now, this girl's been there for only two months. Um, I don't know if she's gotten too comfortable on passing gas in front of everyone or she just can't feel it. What do you think? Should I bring it up to the supervisor because I'm not really trying to be around those fumes. I mean, what you think? <laughs> I do not mean to laugh. Okay. Cause she can probably, she's probably got a serious problem with her bowel movement, but sweetheart, you know, if you passing gas, you know, if you're farting, okay. Especially at work. Now, I don't know if she got maybe a problem with her her digestive tract or what could be going on. But what I would do personally, because I'm Mo, I'm Mo, you know, so I, I address it, not with the supervisor. because You know, it's kind of like folks keep farting. It, that's kind of weird. Just go up to her and say, hey, you know, I noticed that you pass gas a lot around my cubicle or I don't really know what the setup is. You know what I'm saying? But if she's, why can't she go to the bathroom and let it loose? 
You just don't be farting and stuff at work. Who does that? But I would, um, I would definitely address her and, you know, just ask her, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. That's a hard question. You feel me? It's kind of like, um, yeah, I know I'm not drinking water. It's just Powerade, guys. It's not that bad. But anyway, yeah, I would address her. I don't, I don't think I would take it to the supervisor because that's kind of, that's kind of embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? It's embar the fact, the fact that she's farting at work is just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't let a couple loose at work, but I tell people oh, I pulled it. You know what I'm saying? Or go to the bathroom. I, I just don't understand. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I'm stumped. Uh, Y'all have, she hits, you stumped me. I, I, I don't know what, what, what you should do. I don't think you should tell the supervisor though. Cause you know what I'm saying? Maybe, then she probably gonna feel a little embarrassed and stuff like that. You feel me? So don't do that. Okay? Next one. Hey Mo, this is a video for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Um, I was with this dude for five years and probably like just a month ago he decided to come out to everybody around us except for me. Like, dang, you couldn't pick the one person you were having sex with. So I just Wait. feel like it's really messed up because he came out to all our family, friends, but not me. So I just want your opinion. Like, would you blast him? Would you just leave it alone? I just been letting it go, but I really feel hurt. I really feel some type of way. I love you, Mo. I'm subscribed to you. Have your notifications on. Keep up the good work. 50K Thank you, Pooh. For sure. 50K on the way. But girl, I couldn't wait till you was done talking. What? You with me for five years. And you like men. She look like a girl to me. You don't, you don't. <sighs> Y'all, th th these are some good entries. So you with me for five years, but you, you gay. But you tell everybody, but you don't tell me. I don't deserve that loyalty. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to be informed that the person I thought I was in love with is likes the same sex. You, we supposed to be best friends. Should you expose them? No, because that wouldn't be the right thing to do. That ain't, you don't. You don't. You don't do that. You don't expose them. But sit him down and have a talk with him. Like, what did I ever do to you that I don't deserve to know how you feeling? I thought we was like this. What's up? I'm confused. I'm, com I'm baffled by the whole thing. Like, I like dudes too. You feel me? Maybe we could even, you know, what up? I could have had two niggas. You feel me? I don't know, but you gay? Five years? That's a long time, y'all. Five years of somebody's life? Five years of somebody's time? Have we, we, we just fucking. You probably thinking about him and shit. That ain't cool. Don't blast him, though. Don't blast him, sweetheart. You seem like you got a very good so you feel me don't don't be someone you don't want to be you feel me but by all means baby girl if you're mad as hell you do what you want to do but me personally this is tell it to mo tuesday what would mo do i wouldn't blast him you know what i'm saying i wouldn't blast him. there's a lot of shit that i could blast on excess but i'm not I'm, that's not me you feel me so that's, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Don't blast him. But have that talk. Sit him down. Try to figure out where did you go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, why well, I don't deserve to know. But obviously you found out some way. I need more. Hit me up. I need to know what happened. Mo being messy. I need to know. Because <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. And a lot of women are having those problems nowadays. Like, 
they dudes are dating dudes. That's scary. You know what I'm saying? You with me and you with them. I don't know what's going on. That's no, you don't do that to people. Mm mm. I'm all so we he don't want that filter on him. So we <laughs> <laughs> wanted to say we love your YouTube videos. We be watching him out on especially the um was you actually got us to do the Popeye's chicken because <laughs> sandwich because we weren't gonna try it, but you mean Thank you. <laughs> you welcome. He loves pickles. Lord. But anyway, like I said, when are you gonna do the hot chip challenge? You and oh what is his name? Y'all just did the the hot noodle one and right. he took it and you were like, No, I can't eat this. Mm -mm. But if you do it, like I said, have a glass of milk and some bread. But I would love to see that next on your um or do it with Jen. I think she'll do it. I like her too. Oh, thank you, y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for your entry. You didn't really have a question. You know what I'm saying? You just wanted to say hi and say you like my channel. I appreciate y'all, though. Keep watching. It's coming. I'm going to do... Oh, you did have a question. When I'm going to do the uh, hot chip? It's coming. I'm going to record it this weekend. I was scared. I was so scared. I was just watching, like, people do it on YouTube, and I was reading reviews, and it just... I don't know. I'm really scared. But it's coming. I'm going to do it eventually. Hey, Mo. So I'm a junior in high school. I met my boyfriend when I was a freshman in high school. And so basically, while we was in a relationship, like, most of our time was spent with him being in and out of jail. And recently, he just hit him the jail for a murder charge. Oh, who? And first degree murder and stuff. People kept telling me I should leave. And, but on me, I feel like... I can't leave. It's just not like he forced me to be with him. Just okay. Like, I've been with him so long. It's so hard just to get up and leave. Right. So, you know, just give me your thoughts on, you know, it, the whole thing. Should I give it a, another chance? Wow. That's deep. Y'all are coming with the hard ones this week. What is it? Stump Mo with the Tell It To Mo, tell it to Mo Tuesdays? That is, that is, that is, that is a lot. So, she, a junior in high school, she been with this guy since she was a freshman, and he was recently charged with a first degree murder. Is he out? Is he like fighting the case? Like what? I I need to know more. And I like, how does he treat you? Did he do it? Like I don't I don't know. I I I I, I I'm stumped. I I I I I don't know. I don't even know what to tell you. It's kind of like one of those situations where, baby girl, you're young. You have your whole life ahead of you. And for you to be going through something at this age, that's a lot. That's stressful. I see you, you know, you. this, this must be something that's really weighing on you. What I would tell you, if you love him and he's... He's good to you and, he, you know what I'm saying, you, you're behind him. If he ain't really a murderer and shit... You know what I'm saying? Keep him close as a friend. You know what I'm saying? But if he is he if he's facing that charge and he ain't coming home, I, I would, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, just you know, be there for him. Cause everybody make mistakes. We don't know what happened. We don't know, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. So you always people who go through stuff like that. If he did or didn't do it, they need somebody. Because everybody needs somebody, no matter what they, they're going through. You feel me? So, those don't shut them out. But if you feel like he's going to be gone for a long time and you're not going to be able to, you know, see and be with him. You know what I'm saying? You young. So, don't stop your life and stop what you got going on because he made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Whether he did it or not, I don't know. But... If that's the situation, I would definitely, you know, be there for him because he's going to need somebody. But as far as you putting your life on hold because he locked up, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, y'all. Next one. Okay, y'all. Serious question. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I want to, like, start something with, like, gun violence. Mm-hmm. But I feel like people will take me seriously. Like, I see so many people around me trying to, like, prevent gun violence by having, like, rallies and stuff like that. And I want to do that, too, but I feel like people don't take them seriously. 
it took for me to like lose somebody personally to like actually I guess want to do something about it but I feel like it shouldn't take for everybody to you know lose somebody for them to take it seriously so what do y'all think I should do like I want to try it but at the same time I'm scared people ain't gonna take me seriously so like is there an alternative or I feel you on that like it's a lot of things that that's that's deep that's something serious you feel me um i had a younger brother who died from gun violence like he was shot in the head you know what i'm saying my younger brother on my dad's side so when it comes to guns and gun violence that's something i'm touchy about too and it, you're right it shouldn't take for us to lose somebody to to be more aware but I try to keep myself out of that crowd. That's why I moved from where I was living in Milwaukee to Arizona. Because this is a more balanced type of state. Like, you don't hear a lot about that type of stuff. But as far as you starting up, um, you know, doing a rally and people not taking you serious, girl, do it. Because at, you never know. All it takes is for one person to notice you or for you to do one event and it go crazy. And then look, you got the whole world behind you. So don't don't be afraid to do it because you don't think people will take you serious. Because there is a lot of people who feel as if that's a very touchy subject and a very serious issue in our in in our in America. You know what I'm saying? All over the world. So if you really want to do it, take time out, plan it out. Do what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Get you get you a team behind you who has the same uh, drive and ambition to, you know, get that message out there. Because you're right. A lot of people, you know, go through the same thing you went through where they lose somebody and then they're like, oh, we got we to gotta do something about this gun violence. You feel me? So I'm 100% behind you. If you do start up something, but whether it's a t-shirt or a, a rally or a... Uh, event you do, I, I I I post it. I sure would. So you just let me know where you from, what you gonna do. Um, if you want to brainstorm ideas, you can hit me up. I, I I'll help all I can because you know what I'm saying that. Like I said, I lost a brother to gun violence. You feel me? So yeah, most definitely. I think you should do it. All right, y'all. We got one more. Now this girl was trying to send me her entry like all day and my phone was tripping it wouldn't you know it wouldn't let me save it or whatever so I'm gonna read hers because first she sent it to me in a message and then she tried to record it and send it to me but it wasn't working so I'm gonna just read it um it say I work at a deli inside a grocery store and it's a customer which is also a female um which is also a female. She comes by the deli every blue moon. And when she comes to the deli, she always smile hard at me. And I'm trying not to smile hard as well. Funny how I can even... Hold on, give me one second, y'all. My phone is going dead. My phone always dead. If it's not my phone, it's my camera. It's crazy. Uh, I try not to smile hard as well. Funny how I can even tell to the point that she's nervous. Last month, she came to the deli and we actually had a mini conversation. She told me her name and what she does for a living and her future plans. I wanted to give her my number, but I didn't. Um, I didn't have the thought of it during that moment. Yesterday, she didn't stop by. Uh, she didn't stop by, but I did see her around the store. And I went to find her and resume where we left off and give her my number short story i found her i said hey what's up um while i was on the phone acting like i was busy and her response was kind of mellow and slight like a slight slight fake smile responded back to me with uh, hey how are you i automatically assumed maybe she wasn't having the best day so i just went back to my department not thinking too deep of the situation what should i do next time around if she do or doesn't come by the deli okay um it sound like y'all might got a little thing going you know she coming to the deli she's smiling at you you smiling at her you feel me you see her you know what i'm saying she probably was jealous because you was on the phone you never know 
Shoot your shot. You mean, what should you do? Come on, you already know what Mo was going to say. Shoot your shot. Say, you know what? We had a nice little talk last time, baby girl. It was good. I mean, you know, last time you was in here, I was playing like I was on the phone or whatever. But, baby girl, I wasn't. What's up? Girls love it when you make them laugh. If you if you a goofy person, make her laugh. You know, next time you see her, if you don't see her again, that'll be crazy. Because, you, like you said, she coming to the deli, like, often. But once you see her again, just shoot your shot. Don't be scared. Just, you know, holla at her. Let her know what's up. How you feeling? You feel me? All right, Mo Mafia, that's going to be a wrap for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Next week, I might skip Tell It To Mo Tuesday because I have a lot going on next week. I don't know yet, so I just wanted to put that out there just in case. The One Chip Challenge, challenge is coming, y'all. Give me my time. I'm scared, all right? Now, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. If you have not done what you need to do to enter the 50K giveaway, go do it right now. Link down below in the description will have everything you need to do. Step by step what you need to do. And for those of you who keep expressing that you don't have social media, it's fine. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Um, hit the bell and comment done below. It's fine. You don't. If you can't share me because you don't have any social medias, that's fine. I'm not going to just tell you guys you can't enter because I'm entering everybody. You feel me? I'm entering everybody who, you know what I'm saying, even express that they watch my videos because I want y'all to know I appreciate it, all right? All right, Mo Mafia, we good? Cool. Mo Mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang. <laughs>